Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about mortgage rates and uh, housing market. Uh, you know, this is going to be a beginning of uh, uh, the mortgage crisis. Well, I wouldn't say crisis, more like a recession. I think that the, 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 the housing prices are going to fall back towards the 2016 level like they should or back to 2019 level. Um, you know, I think that, that the higher rates, uh, it's, it's definitely the, one of the signs that there's going to, there's going to be a slowdown in the, uh, uh, housing. Okay. Meaning right now you have problems, right? You can't, you have higher prices. You have, Rates that are going up, right? That means you, 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 the demand is going to slow down dramatically. People can't already afford these prices now, right? Because wages aren't keeping up with uh, the, the the rising housing prices, right? Because in order for you to get a loan, that you got to make a certain amount of money to afford that loan. And now that, and when you have higher prices of homes. <clears throat> Homes. You also need to have higher uh, 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 salary, right? Right. Right now, you have salaries. The, the wages that are stagnant, almost, right? That, that that is nowhere near compensating the inflation that we have. So that means that you that people are gonna not people aren't gonna be able to afford these houses, especially at higher rates, because then that's gonna raise the monthly payments. So you're going to have a lot of bad things coming in, uh, you know, and, and Federal Reserve is now saying that they're going to raise rates another, you know, seven times, another two months. So I see mortgage rates going up to about five and a half to six percent by end of this year. Guys, that's going to really hurt the economy because housing, real estate, it's 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 big, big market is it's big part of the uh growth domestic product right so that's going to hurt the economy and then when you have housing housing going up now you have food prices going up you're going to have slower economy in general because people aren't going to be be able to go out like they used to go out to disneyland like like, like they used to go out to afford higher hotels uh 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 like a fancy hotels like they used to, right? Or the, or, and they're not going to be able to go out and eat uh, at a restaurant like they used to. So all the spending behavior changes. When you have inflation, higher rates, spending behavior changes. In order for you... Changes. And uh, the thing is, it's not like we have... Uh, uh, like modern money theory kind of thing, like where they give you money like every month to compensate the inflation, right? So that's not happening. So we're at a point where we're going to see a dramatic slowdown in the economy. And the stock market, it's not pricing it in. The stock market is looking forward to like a brighter future, right? But the thing is, we're not going to have a brighter future. You know, a lot of people are going to cut spending. They're going to cut Netflix subscriptions. They're going to cut uh, lower uh, internet, uh, home internet. Uh, they're, they're probably going to cut down on their uh, cell phones, go to lower plans, you know, prepaid plans or or whatever. They're going to cut as much as they can in order for them to just sustain the the uh, living standard as far as housing wise right so if you're paying if you have to pay 10% more on your mortgage let's say you're you're paying $2,000 a month and if you have to pay $2,200 a month then you're, you're gonna have to cut other uh, spending that you have not to mention that on top of paying extra $2,000 or $200 a month you have food prices that have gone up 50, 60 percent. Fuel prices, right? Electricity prices. 
gasoline prices, every everything's gone up by fifty, sixty percent. So that means you're gonna have to cut spending. Like you really have to like pinch pennies, right? In order for you to just go by your day and be able to have a, a roof over your head. So what I'm saying right now is that what I'm trying to say is you have the stock market is not looking it's it's, it's looking forward to like a brighter future where everybody's going to do well and you know the company's going to do well all these things but on the other hand in reality there's it, it's a whole nother different story guys you're going to have a slowing uh, uh economy you have the Federal Reserve cutting the GDP rate to the uh, GDP uh, growth to zero, right? So all these things is going to play out, and the and the thing is, once those things things comes out, I think it's going to be already too late for the markets. I think we're going to have a sharp sell off, and that's going to cause a deflationary spiral, meaning people just aren't going to spend no more. Right, you're gonna have very, very trouble uh, ahead. So, yeah, guys, you know, be be uh, be prepared. You know, you know, uh, l- l- look around, look at some data that are coming out, and not just the the stock market and candles or whatever. Right, you have to in order for you to be- become a good investor, you have to know these things. You have to know all the other data and not just the stock market. So look at those data and just, uh, you know, uh, adapt, you know, adapt your uh, uh, your uh, if, uh, investing habits. And uh, yeah, that's all I wanted to uh, say in this video. I want to thank you guys for listening and talk to you guys later. Peace.